Running shoes are weird when you think about it. They're designed to be stamped on again and again, so they need to be constructed in a way that makes them durable. But I wanted to know, just how durable? Could they, for example, withstand the blow of an axe? Or even being set on fire? So I thought, why not see just how much destruction one shoe can take? But for that, I need a demolition man. So I brought in Demolition Alex. First, a test run. So fresh on the Saucony Triumph is a lovely premium, very bouncy shoe, wraps the foot quite nicely. But after all this destruction and demolition, will they feel the same? We were about to find out. First test, boiling water. A lot of these running shoes are made with glue down the seam. So it'll be interesting to see if the glue can stand up to having boiling water poured over it. Let's see. With the kettle boiled, Demolition Alex gave the shoes a good dousing. On first inspection after the boiling water test, it is interesting, the seam there just coming away ever so slightly at the edge, perhaps some of the glue there experiencing a little bit too much of the heat. They are still quite hot to the touch, so we're gonna have to just let them cool down a little bit before we try and run in them, see if there's any noticeable change in the feel of the shoe itself. Oh, well, the warmth of the boiling water is gone, but the moisture remains. And I'm sure at some point you've put wet shoes on, it's not the most pleasant feeling. Okay, so clearly a little bit wet, a little bit of squelch I can hear as well. But other than that, not too bad. Let's go on to the next test. So it's time to up the stakes. We've seen what happens with the boiling water, but what if we ran over a pair of running shoes with a half ton family sized car? Let's find out. Okay, Demolition Alex, back it up. So the shoe is definitely looking a little flatter than it was before. I think the most obvious thing is probably the back, the heel cup here, usually standing up quite straight, but it has flattened it and bent it forward. It's done very, very well there, at taking an entire car rolling over it. Of course, we had to do the other shoe for good measure. I can say this is a first. I've never run in a pair of shoes that just got ran over by a car. The shape's changed. That's the biggest difference. It's almost widened slightly, so flattened out a little bit. Other than that though, doing very, very well. Very impressed so far. Next. We've poured boiling water over the shoes. We've run it over in a full-size car. Surely this will make a difference. We're about to try and put it to the test as an archery range. Will an arrow pierce the shoe? Let's find out. Demolition Alex would act as the Robin Hood of Doom. <laughs> well, look at that. As asked, Demolition Alex has put one right through the forefoot as well. Let's inspect the trainer now and see just how bad the arrow damage is. Two arrows both pierce the shoe, one at the back and one in the forefoot. Amazingly though, this shoe is crazy hasn't come through the other side, straight through the first hole of the Saucony symbol, and one that's probably gone nearly a centimeter deep at the heel, but nothing out the other side. This shoe is tough. After a short battle to get the embedded arrows out, <laughs> the shoes needed a test jog. These shoes have now been pierced by arrows, and I can tell you there's one major difference, not much, but I can feel the hole at the heel where the arrow went in. Still, very, very good. You may be wondering why we're carrying a log. Well, this shoe is pretty tough. So now we've really got to up the ante. And I think Demolition Alex has got something just for the job. Oh my word, it went straight through, blimey. You can see in the shoe how it's actually constructed. We've got the foam here at the bottom with the outer sole and then two different layers with the actual inner sole there as well and the upper. Something tells me that this shoe might not be quite so good for running. Let's try the other shoe. Which was a similar story. The ax has well and truly taken the toe box off of it. Well, like with all the tests, let's try running in this. I've worn an open toed sandal before, but that really is something quite different. But what's really weird is I think where I run a little more on my mid to forefoot, I'm gonna find myself slightly falling over the very edge of the shoe where the cut line is. 
Let's see. Well, it goes without saying that this is the biggest disruption to the shoe I've experienced so far. I tell you one positive, it is nice to have the wind flowing over my toes, but otherwise, not great. But where could we possibly go from chopping the shoes in half? Well, we did have one other option, but it would need a fire extinguisher and water on hand to be safe. This is it, the grand finale. We've poured boiling water over them, they've been run over by a car, they've been shot with an arrow, they've had an ax go through them. We're gonna try a blowtorch and see how these shoes handle a little bit of heat. Demolition Alex struck the match and began to burn. You can see it melting with the flame. The shoe's gonna collapse in on itself. We then extinguished. Well, that's made quite a difference. You can see where it's melted down the sides. Socony logo almost completely wiped out. The Triumph there still stuck the side. What an impressive shoe. Well, there's only one thing to try for the final test. Let's go for a run. They've got an almost crispy feel. Oh, looks like you can open them up to put your foot in, that's handy. Close that back up over there. I think what we're gonna have to do is use one of the laces to tie the shoe to the foot to keep it on. But we will try this. Double knot to make sure they're on securely. Fantastic. Also a little bit on the crunchy side. We'll just have to open that up there to get the foot in. Another lace should secure that nicely. Do you know, I think these might stand a chance of a run. You might be surprised to hear this, but the shoes are feeling a little bit different now. Obviously tied on loosely with a lace. They are frazzled, they've been burnt, they've been boiled, they've been run over by a car, an arrow through them, an ax through them, so they're basically in half. The handling isn't quite the same, but I'll tell you one thing, there is still a nice bit of bounce in the sole, but I probably won't be using these for my next half marathon. Well, that was how much destruction or demolition can one pair of running shoes take? All things considered, I think they did quite well. We are a small channel, and if you'd like to help us out in some small way, just share one of your favorite jog on videos. Demolition Cat has now left. For more videos like this, make sure you hit subscribe and remember that Jog On is not just videos, it's also a podcast on Apple Podcasts and all other podcast apps. Thanks for watching. I'm Harry, that's Demolition Alex, and this is Jog On. <laughs> but now, let's play with fire. <laughs> kind of a line is that? These arrows have now been pierced. These arrows have been pierced? <laughs>